Hi everyone, it's James. You're looking at my 2014 Nissan SUV X-Trail. I bought it six years ago, brand new. I bought this for 3 million yen in Japan. That's because I'm in Japan. Now we're gonna take a look at this car. I'm selling this car this month. This is my last time to talk about this car. I have a family of five and I can say that this car has been the best car I ever had. So let me talk about this car. Since I'm in the car, I'm going to talk about the inside first, then the outside. Steering is on the right side because I'm in Japan. There's an SRS airbag and horn in the steering wheel. You have controls on the left. Steering is very nice. Okay, um, it, it displays the time and the current temperature. 31 degrees Celsius, it's hot and I'm in park position. It has a back camera, so I'll talk about that in a moment. There are two wipers, front and back. This one is for the back. There are two speeds, low and high. So if I do this, take a look at the back. Okay. The front has two wipers, so if I want them on, I would just do this. If I push down one time, this is in low mode. Now, if I want them faster, I would press this down again. Now it's going faster. Take a look. And to turn it off, one, two. If I want water in the front, I would push this towards me and water would splash to the front. If I want water in the back, I would push this the other way and that would spray the back window. All right. There's an auto start button. Start and stop engine. Okay, on the right hand side of the steering wheel is your signal and your headlights and your high beam. All right, you can reposition the steering wheel by going over here. Okay, right over here. By doing this, that releases the steering wheel. So you can go forward or towards you, just like a pilot, down or up. Okay, when you want to lock it in position, you will pull up this lever to lock it in position. Okay, so watch me. Uh, I don't like it this low, so I want it towards me. So I'm going to pull this up and lock it in position. I have to hold it. Now it's locked. Okay, it's locked. Still to the right, you have light controls and you have a trip reset. You have some more buttons here. Um, this lever is for your front hood and this is for your gas tank. On the right, I have a control for the side mirrors. If I want to close both side mirrors, I would press this button. And to open them, press it again. This is power steering, by the way. Everything is powered. Powered mirrors, powered steering. And I did say this was a two-wheel drive, right? With air conditioning. Oh, I need air conditioning. Okay, uh, what else can I say? Um, there's lots of space for a drink and some other things. You have controls for the windows here. You have an open or lock. You have controls for opening the back windows. So for the back right. Right. And for the back left. All right. You've got tinted windows all around, except for the front. Open and close. Okay, what else? Um, it comes with a navigator. You've got your hazard light. You have control over the vents. It's quite quiet. I've got the air conditioner on high, so that's why you can hear it. 
So you've got a Japanese navigator. You can also set it to English and some other Asian languages, Chinese, Korean, okay? You have air conditioning and you have heater mode. You have push on and off. This is the on and off button for the air conditioner. Okay, you have different modes. You have auto mode. You have heated front seats. So these controls over here, one, two, heat up the front seat. You have low and high. It's the summer right now, so I don't need them on. You have two compartments to hold your drinks. And you also have this little vent and you have this little switch over here to open or close it. It tells you right over here. Okay, and another compartment here. This is an automatic transmission. To release it, you would press this button right over here. It goes on, to, here's reverse, neutral, D for drive, and L for going uphill and downhill. Excellent, I've used this when I went camping. Okay. Oh, it comes with a back camera. I'll show it to you. Let's take a look at the back camera. So I'll put it on reverse and you have a back camera. It's pretty wide and you can see, and it has these guidelines. I'm gonna set it back to parking. Okay, and you have a cigarette lighter. I'm using it for my dash cam, right there. You've got lots of space for change. You have another vent over there and up there. A nice wide dashboard. Compartment for your stuff. Uh, this is the left seat. This is the passenger seat. On the left side, you've got a compartment down there. Um, of course, you open the door, lock the door. I can lock the door from my side. I can lock all the doors from my side. Take a look. I have auto lock right over here. That locks everything. Watch this, that opens all doors. This locks all doors. Open and lock. Now if I just wanted to open this door, I could just do this, no problem. All right, um, oh, did I talk about the engine? It's a 2000 cc engine. It's pretty powerful. I had no problems going uphill, carrying heavy things. Um, carrying a lot of people in the car, well, maximum seven. I love this SUV. And the wheels are 17 inch alloys. Take a look up here. There's a little mirror. You wanna check your beauty. This didn't come with it, I bought this. And over here too, it comes with a light. And over here, press this, and and you can put your glasses here or, or whatever. You have lights. This light is for the doors. This car has sensors all around it, so if you drive near other cars or objects, it'll tell you to watch out. It'll be displayed over here on the dash. Maybe I'll show you an example later. Nice armrest here. This is leather. So you have a cigarette lighter, or you can plug in some adapter here for your, for your charging, Com a compartment for your phone or whatever. Lots of space. I heard you can put a tablet there. I've never tried that. Okay, let's go to the back. Hi everyone, I'm in the middle back seat. I'll get to the far back seats later. I think it's pretty spacious, three people can sit here. Maybe a smaller person or a child can sit here. They all have seat belts. This seat belt is for the middle one here. Like that. There's lots of leg space, take a look. Lots of leg space. And there are pockets in front and on the right side and left side. There is a compartment for your drink, one. And speakers on each side, one. And 
Okay, here's the compartment. I don't know if you can see it. Here's, here's the other compartment on the left side and a speaker, window control. And over here in the middle, you have vent control, high, medium, or just turn it off. You can do that, whatever you like. All right. On the roof, you have a middle light on, off, door, watch this. Okay, watch, I turn it off, watch, nothing, the door is open. I'm getting stared at. Here's the seatbelt for the right side. Perfect. Release it. Okay. And as I mentioned, the windows are tinted. I can see out, but people can't really see in. I'm gonna walk around the car. Seventeen inch alloy tires. It's silver. There's an antenna on top. Trail. I'm getting scared a lot. Okay, I'm gonna get to the back later on. So this is what it looks like. There's the accelerator, brake, and emergency brake. Okay, I'm gonna change locations. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you how many people can sit in the second back row. One adult on the right side and there's lots of leg space. And there's a pocket in the front. To open the door, do this. You've got your window control. You have a cup holder and a speaker. There's lots of leg space. If I want more leg space, I'll pull up this lever and slide back. Like that and release it. Or to go forward, pull this up and slide forward. Wow, that's too close. Okay. And here is the seatbelt. Just like that. Release it. There's also an adjustable headrest. I'll show that to you after. Now let's look at the middle seat. There's a little bit of room for a small adult or a child. And there are vents over here. And to the left, the same thing. There's a lever underneath the seat. Pull this up to slide up, pull it up again to slide back. So this is what it looks like. There is a side pocket and the same thing applies. There's a bottom lever under the left seat. Pull this up and go forward and to go back. All right, now the thing is, this is, now, if you want to recline this, there is a lever on the seat. Take a look, right there. You would pull this towards you. This moves the top part of the seat down or back. And that's the furthest, okay? For the middle seat, there are two steps. 
pull the strap and this part moves downward. And look, it's a cup holder for two cups and an armrest. It's pretty nice. And this headrest is removable for both seats. I'll get to that in a moment. Oh, actually, I'll do that now. There's a button to the left on each headrest. What you do is press in and this top part slides right out like that. Okay, to put it back in, you press the button again and it slides so you can adjust it to your height. Now let's see the back. It's a little cramped. Let me show you. I'm going to move this seat forward. And then I'm going to pull this lever on the seat, which does that. Now it's really cramped. And the back seats are not adjustable. I mean, you can't recline it, but they're collapsible. Okay. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty small. Not much room. Normally, I would get my kids to sit in the back. And the seat belts are to the side. Right there. All right. Okay, let's show you the trunk. Pull that forward to get out. It's pretty cramped. So to collapse this all the way down, there is a little strap to the side. You would pull the strap towards you and down goes the seat. That's it. And to move it forward, again, you would pull up the lever. Okay, I'll do that for the other side as well. And then pull this lever and then pull the strap towards you and it collapses. Okay. Okay, to open the trunk. Okay. Okay, do you see this soft button? You would do this, push, and that would lift the back door. Okay, sorry about this mess. To collapse it, pull this strap and push it forward. Again, pull the strap towards you and push it forward. Look at all the space. Sorry about the mess. Do these. Two more cup holders for the back. And on the left side, a compartment for something, for your change. So look at all the space. You can put suitcases. I have a family of five. Um, it's a little small if you're traveling with a group of five people. There's not much space for luggage. But if you're traveling alone or with just a few people, there's plenty of space, as you can see. There's a compartment over here. The spare tire is down below. There it is. So plenty of space to hide your things. This is a divider. There's a rest. So you can just have it upright and that divides everything. You can hide your things here. Oh, let me quickly show you where the jack is. On the side is a door. Pull this and there's a jack if you need to replace a tire. Okay, and um, what else? Oh, and to the right, and look at this, power for a lighter or whatever. And a backlight. And that's about it for this car. 
Today's the last day to have it because I'm selling it tomorrow. Goodbye, and thank you for the memories.